So in our last episode, we finished a discussion about the journey of the souls, the good soul and the bad soul. Now we come to the last place of rest, the grave. And one of the great companions, Uthman bin Affan, may Allah be pleased with him, his friends noticed something very weird about him. That when he saw a burial taking place, he would start to cry and shed tears. And any other time when death was talked about or heaven or hell were talked about, he wasn't very moved. And so his friends asked him, why are you so moved when you see a burial taking place, when you go to a graveyard? And he said, may Allah be pleased with him, the grave is the first step. It's the first stage of the next life. And if the grave goes good, if whatever happens in the grave is done well, then the rest of the journey of the hereafter is easy and smooth. And if the grave goes bad, if something wrong happens in there, then the rest of the journey will be very difficult. What is he referring to? May Allah be pleased with him. He's referring to the questioning of the grave. Every single one of us will have their mom and dad, their sister or their brother, their friends. Every single one of us will have loved ones around us that will have to experience the process of burying us. Taking us with their own hands and laying us in the very dirt that we walk over. And so, as soon as they cover us with the dirt, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, he tells us what happens. And when we're all laid in that grave, good soul and bad soul, it'll be dark, we'll be alone, it'll be cold, we'll be by ourselves. And then out of nowhere, two figures will appear. They will stand us up. They are two specialized angels that are responsible for asking the questions that Allah the Almighty wants answered in the grave. And so they will ask for the good soul. Who is your master? Who is your Lord? They are asking, who was it that you lived your life in submission to? Was it your creator? Was it your master? Was it your Lord? Was it God Almighty? Or was it something else? The good soul will answer that question as quickly as possible because it lived its whole life in submission to the Creator. It was one of the souls that submitted to Allah the Most High. And so it will say Allah. Then it will be asked, and what is your deen? What is the way that you lived your life? How did you live your life? And the soul will simply say, I was a Muslim, I submitted. I was of those that was in submission to the creation. I lived in accordance to the guidance of the divine. Easy answer. And the last question, who was the man that was sent to you? Who was the messenger? Who was the man that God chose to deliver his message to you? And he will say, or she will say, the prophet of its time. The prophet that came and conveyed the message of Allah to them and they accepted that message wholeheartedly. Muhammad, the final messenger. The good soul will have an easy way of answering. Its questions will come out very quickly. It's prepared, it's done its homework, it's prepared for the exam. As for the evil soul, the angels will wake it up in its grave and it will be so startled and so frightened. It will be full of fear. And it will be asked the same questions. Who is your Lord? Who is your master? Who did you submit to? And the answers vary. Because many people, they live their lives submitting to their friends, submitting to oppressors, submitting to criminals, submitting to those that are evil in life. And all they were were pawns in the game. And so it would say that thing, that false thing, that evil thing, that deity that it shouldn't have taken as a deity. So the second question it will be asked is, how did you live your life? And it will say something other than submitting itself, the best thing of saying, submitting myself to the Creator. And who was the man sent to you? And some souls will say, I don't know. It will say some name of some man that it falsely took in his, in his guidance or her guidance and any other answer other than Allah, Islam and Muhammad will not be accepted. It won't be a good answer. And so these are the questions of the grave that every human has to answer before they move on to the next phase. 
we will continue the journey in our next episode by discussing a little bit more what happens then in the grave. So the important lesson today is to understand that everyone will be asked these three essential questions. And the only way that you can answer them, it's not by memorizing, it's not like you could sit there in front of a paper or in front of a book and just keep drilling them into your brain cells. You won't have any more brain cells. You will have to answer those questions with your faith. How strong was your faith? How much was your commitment to your Lord and your Master? Everything that's important in life comes down to that faith. Who was your Master? Allah? Did you submit to something other than Allah? Did you worship and obey something other than Allah? Were you living your life for something other than the Creator of the universe? The reason why you exist. Number two, what is your way of submitting? The best thing that He sent us is Islam. All of the aspects of Islam. Living our life completely in submission from everything that we do in life, we can be rewarded for and our Master and our Lord rewards us for if we commit in doing it for Him. And the last question, who is this man that was sent to guide humanity? Who is Muhammad the son of Abdullah? What were his attributes? Why was he so great? Who was he as an individual? So many of us know so little about who Allah really is. And what is this Islam thing? And who is the man named Muhammad? And the lesson for today is that we make sure to learn as much as possible about Allah and His dynamics, His attributes. Who is He? What does Islam teach us and how does it bring us happiness and bliss in life? And who is Muhammad? What were his attributes? How was he an important role model that I should emulate every day of my existence? These are the essential questions and the essential knowledge that we will need to carry with us into the next life.